Here we go for another one I almost forgot to do. Star Trek, Shadows of the Sun. Um, two cassettes by Michael Jan Friedman. And um, this is one of the original Star Trek books. So I, didn't, I didn't tell you the other one. If you watch Gen Genesis Wave, I didn't even get into that. The, the, um, oh, that was in 2000. That was a more updated book. This book was from 1993. $17,000 in the U.S., $24,50 in Canada. If you watch the Genesis Wave, that was... Um, it doesn't even do. It gives you a price of eighteen U.S. twenty six fifty in Canada. So in the year two thousand, it was eighteen dollars in the U.S. It was twenty six fifty in Canada for Genesis Wave. What a big difference that was! Right here in ninety three, it was twenty one fifty in Canada and seventeen in the U.S. So you know things were different then for time frames. This one was a young doctor, a beautiful family, a promising medical career. Doctor McCoy thought he had it all, but when McCoy when his beloved wife suddenly broke off their marriage, McCoy fled to Starfleet in town, burying its pain in the depths of space. Now, some 40 years later, the USS Enterprise is ordered to transport a group of mediators to the planet SSAN, San, a world where assassination is a long time modern tradition. <laughs> Dr. McCoy is surprised to learn that his ex wife, now remarried, is one of the mediators. But before he can begin to face his feelings, she and Captain Kirk are trapped by being a deadly assassin. Suddenly, McCoy is at the center of an explosive civil war where he is the only one that, with the power to save the woman we once broke his heart. So, Dr. McCoy has to fix everything. Now, who are, yeah, who, um, the, uh, this was a Star Trek squad that was, um, was read by James Doohan, which was Scotty, chief engineer. So, this was great. He's one of the best narrators, like, I like him and Leonard Nimoy, I think, are the two best for the books. Um, surprisingly, I don't know if I listened to any of that, Patrick Stewart. He had to have done a few. Patrick Stewart has a really good voice, too. I like him, but, um, I think I, I, I do like, I think Leonard Nimoy and, and James Doohan, um, were really good with the books. And, um, William Shatner, he's okay. You know, as much as we, you know, personally as a person, people don't like him, he would me. He made the Star Trek series uh, of the whole originals, movies, and everything, and TV show. Without him, it just wouldn't have been possible. I hate to give credit to someone that's such an, an asshole, whatever you want to call it, but um, that's exactly what he was. And he, you know, it's a real shame that he couldn't work it out with people before they died because um, it would have been nice to have some kind of reunion, but that wasn't possible either. The most he had for a union was Generations, and um, I think, uh, what's his name, For Forrest, um, what's his, what was his name, um, um, the guy that was, um, that played Dr. McCoy, he was the only one that really wasn't in that movie, and neither was Spock, it was just, um, Scotty and, um, and Mr. Chekhov, I don't, and that was it, so, all right, if you want to read that one, buy either one, one of the books I talked about. I talked about Shadows of the Sun this time. You can go on eBay. They're not that expensive. They're actually very um, well-priced. You can buy any of these books for 5 10 bucks a piece. Now, that might seem a lot just for a cheap cassette that's not even worth a buck. But, you know, that's a pretty damn good price. And you can buy most of these individually, believe it or not. And some of them are even sealed. But that doesn't matter what a... With the properties of these tapes, if they're sealed, sometimes they're worse off because they've never been moved around before and they've been sitting there for over 20, 25 years. So um, in that case, I probably want one that's been played a few times just, you know, so I know it didn't get stuck anywhere. So far, I've been good. The only one, I, I ate one of my tapes, but I think that was the player acting up. The play's been working fine lately, though, although it sounds a little out, out of shape, but... I'm not going to use a new player unless I have to. So, um, that's it. All right, and bye-bye.